Hello, and thank you for watching another great video from the Fat Vegan Chef. Today I'm going to be making a family favorite, vegan beef stroganoff. I use a variety of mushrooms in this recipe to help create that beef or that unami flavor. You can just use button and portobellos if you would like to kind of save on money. But I use the different varieties because that helps create that nice unami flavor that you would normally see in a beef dish. This recipe and more can be found at fatveganchef.com. Please go there for the recipe and to donate and for more. And this vegan dish will be a hit with your family, both omnivores and vegans alike. Let's go ahead and find out what tools and ingredients that we need. The tools that you will need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, and again, it's important to have that damp towel underneath because that keeps the cutting board from sliding while you're cutting. And this recipe does require a lot of cutting. You'll need a knife, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a blender, one to two stock pots depending upon how you cook it, a strainer, a rubber spatula, and a ladle, uh, which is not completely necessary, but it's good for taking the hot water out of the pasta, which you will need. The ingredients that you will need to make this dish are one quarter cup of vegan margarine. This is earth balance. Two large portobello mushrooms that's been quartered and sliced thin. Four cups of shiitake mushrooms that's been sliced thin. Two, one, two cups of porcini mushrooms that's been sliced thin and two cups of button mushrooms that's been sliced medium to thick. One half teaspoon of black pepper, one half teaspoon of grains of paradise, one tablespoon of garlic, ren, one red onion that's been diced medium, one quarter cup of flour, one half cup of tomato paste, two cups of vegetable stock, two cups of unsalted cashews that's been soaked in water overnight, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one half cup of vegan cream cheese, one cup of vegan sour cream, two packages of vegan ground beef, this happens to be beyond beef, you'll need some sea salt to taste, you'll need some uh, thick ribbon noodles or Fettuccine nests that are vegan, check to make sure they don't have any eggs in them that's been cooked. You also need a cup of that water that um, has been reserved after it's been cooked and some parsley to garnish with. Do you have all of your tools and ingredients gathered up and prepped? Great. Let's go ahead and start making this. First thing you want to do is put in your quarter cup of earth balance. Let that melt and get very hot. Okay, the earth balance is hot and melted. Now we'll add all of our mushrooms. And again, if you want to simplify this, you can just use portobello and button mushrooms. You don't have to use the porcini and shiitake, but it is recommended because they will deepen the flavor of the dish. We will also add our tablespoon of garlic, our half tablespoon of grains of paradise, and our half tablespoon of black pepper. Actually, that's half a teaspoon and half a teaspoon. And We'll let this cook down. Once the mushrooms are cooked down, we'll go on to the next step. I forgot to add the onion. Don't forget the onion. That's one onion that's been diced medium. While the mushrooms are cooking, we'll go ahead and prepare the cashew mixture. What you want to do is make sure that your cashews are drained well after you've soaked them overnight. And go ahead and put them in your blender. Put 
that in there along with the soy sauce. And we'll go ahead and blend this up. All right, we have this fairly well blended up. We'll go ahead and add the vegan sour cream and the vegan cream cheese. We'll go ahead and get this blended up and then move on to the next step. Okay, we've got our mixture nice and blended. We'll go ahead and set this aside and go back to our mushrooms. Our mushrooms are nice and cooked down. What we'll do next is add the quarter cup of flour. Go ahead and mix this well in the mushrooms. Now what we'll do is we'll let this flour mixture cook with the mushrooms in a low to medium low heat for five to ten minutes. And what this does will, is will help to take away that floury flavor. Our flour has been cooking down for the last five minutes. Now we'll add our tomato paste. And again, we're going to mix this in with the mixture and we're going to let the tomato paste cook for a few minutes and this will allow the flavor to come out of the tomato paste, brighten it up, freshen it up. Our tomato paste has cooked down some. What we'll do now is turn our heat on up to high. And all the stuff on the bottom, what we're going to do is try to get this stuff up. Um, that's pretty good flavor right there. It's not burned or anything, it's just stuck to the bottom of the pan. It's what we call font. And we're going to add in a little bit of our vegetable stock to help try to bring that up and loosen that up there. Add in the rest of our vegetable stock. We'll add in the pasta water. Give this a nice good stir. Next, we'll add in our cashew mixture. And finally, we will add in our beef crumbles. Now we will give this a good cook. Let this reduce down some. And I'll see you when it's done cooking. Our stroganoff is pretty much done at this point. What we're going to do is we're going to taste, see if it needs any salt or pepper. And I think it could stand to use some more pepper. and it's add more salt. Stir this in. And we'll taste it again. It's pretty spot on. I'll see you over at the counter. This is what the vegan beef stroganoff is going to look like when it's done. Please try it out. The recipe can be found at thefatveganchef.com. You can find us on Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, 
Instagram, and just about everywhere else. Look for the Fat Vegan Chef. If you like this recipe, please share it with all of your friends and family on your social media sites. If you do decide to make this, please take a picture and let us know. Send that to us and we'll put it up on our group Pinterest page. Please consider donating a dollar to the Fat Vegan Chef dot, or tfvc.org forward slash donate. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you enjoy the recipe. I think your family will enjoy it as well. And have a good day. Goodbye.